Hello all, Zenoth, aka Jesse, back again with another flavor review. Today I will be reviewing a candy cane, a creme de menthe, and a custom blend called Zen's Blend. And also I'll be talking a little bit about the Build Your Own Bottle section of the Mount Baker Vapors website. I hope you enjoy. What a nice day for another outside review. Like I said in the intro, we have three flavors to review today. We have some creme de mint sent to me from my good friend Dan, who also happened to make that awesome intro for these videos. We've got a candy cane that is an awesome little extra in my package today, which is beautiful because that was really the next flavor I was going to order. And then we got a custom blend today that made up the build a bottle section that we'll touch on later. It's a Zen's blend. <laughs> and so we're going 24 milligram, 24 milligram, and an 18 milligram. Just figured, you know, step down a little bit, see if I enjoy it. So let's jump right in with some direct drip flavors. Childproof caps. They work on those that are, haven't had lunch yet, too. So this is the Zen's blend. This is a little bit of a custom flavor from the Build Your Own Bottle section on MountBakerVapor.com, where you get the choice to go through the, all the flavor options they have and mix your own in whatever percentages you want. So you can choose flavors to be more strong or less strong. And this one's a bit of a tropical blend. I don't really want to give away all the flavors in there, but I'll say one thing is very heavy on the mango. A quick little direct drip. <laughs> so tropically delicious. for kind of a melon berry kind of mix there and yeah that's just whew, like a tropical fruit gum or yeah like a sitting on the beach style vape that's definitely a summertime summertime flavor which is not too far away now I only have two flavor tests, two direct drip flavors in. So I think I'm going to try the creme de menthe, creme de menthe first because I think it might be a little more subtle than the candy cane. So I think I might be able to get away with using one dripper for two minty flavors without botching up what it's actually supposed to taste like. Since this is not... Nah, Dripper form. We're going to do this a little differently. Just the littlest drop in one of the cardo condoms. Back in the leak free tube. So this is a direct drip with the creme de menthe from Mount Baker Vapor. Mmm. 
subtle minty, almost chocolatey. You can definitely taste a little cream in there. Just like a subtle hint of alcohol, like the beverage that it's made after. Yeah, if you like, if you like the uh, beverage creme de menthe, this babe will be right up your alley. Make sure I vape all that out of there before I add the candy cane. Should be good. And I figure one minty menthol type flavor with another. I figured the worst I could do cross contamination wise on the flavor is make it more minty. Well, we have them in their own cardamizers here, so we'll find out. Three drops just to be safe. See if we can get the candy cane to take over there flavor wise. Came from Mount Baker, direct drip test. Whew. I think it just got a little chillier. That is extremely minty and kind of sweet. I went in the right order there. This definitely overpowers the creme de menthe. Same style, but the mint's much more pronounced. Not as smooth and creamy, or slightly chocolatey, if you were. Mm. That's more of a pepperminty, with a little bit of sweetness in there. Yeah, it's called candy cane, and it's tastes like a candy cane. Mm. <laughs> that is really good. Thank you, James, for throwing that in there. That's a flavor that I've been interested in in a while, and I'm glad I finally got to try it out. <laughs> That's delicious. So yeah, I think we'll actually we'll go with the candy cane, candy cane first on Ricardo, and see how that fills out after it's been sitting for a while. As always, I've filled these and let them sit for about 20 minutes to fully soak in. Sweetness, sweetness definitely comes out a lot more. True. Sweetness comes out a lot more in the cardamizer. But it's still definitely minty. There's that minty coolness in there, the peppermint of the actual candy cane. spot on just like it's like a good old-fashioned white and red candy cane that you get around Christmas time tastes exactly like that spot on spot on as always Now, 
we will try the creme de menthe in the cardamizer. Saving custom flavor for last just because since it's not actually on the shelves for sale as a stock flavor, I'm not sure if that would be more of a review or just like a video thank you to Mount Baker Vapor. So I'm going to save that, so that one for last. bit more subtle in the cardo than in the direct drip but that's about the norm it's still very smooth and creamy mm. delicious it tastes pretty much exactly like the creme de menthe adult beverage and it's another beverage style flavor from Mount Baker that's right on point. Right on point. Definitely meant to mimic the creme de menthe. And it's right there. That is creme de menthe. That is really good. I would highly recommend this flavor. Now for the custom juice, the Zen's Blend. Just to go with, in a little bit more in detail without giving too much away, it's a tropical tobacco base with some mango and some berries in there. Won't tell you what kind of berries. And uh, just a little splash, just a little splash of alcohol. Mm. Mm. Very tropical, very fruity, with just a nice little hint of berry in the finish. Mm. Almost like a health smoothie. A health smoothie that tasted too good to believe it was healthy for you. Yeah, just a nice smooth finish. Very pronounced mango. Very pronounced tropical tobacco without being nutty or perfumey or anything. That's just perfect. The flavor combo looked good on paper, it sounded good in my head, and the actual vape <laughs> came out just as good as I thought it would. Mm. A huge thank you to James at Mount Baker Vapor for putting this juice together for me uh, from that fill your own bottle section of the website. Mm. Thank you so much, this is delicious. So a quick synopsis before I go off a little bit on the build your own bottle section of the website. And the candy cane, 24 milligrams. I'd give that a 5 out of 5. Hands down. Delicious. We've got the creme d'amant, which is in one of these bottles because this was an order that my good friend Dan made. And uh, we've been sharing flavors, seeing, uh, you know, spreading the love around. 
so it's in a little mailer tube, but creme de menthe from Mount Baker Vapor, 24 milligrams, 5 out of 5, easily, it's exactly like the beverage that it's named after, good solid buys if you like candy canes or creme de menthe beverage, those are two flavors that you will absolutely love. And then the Zen's Blend, 18 milligrams, so I felt like stepping it down a little bit. Effin' delicious. Mm. Five out of five. Five out of five. Mm. Now, a little bit extra on the build your own bottle section at Mount Baker Vapor. You get your choice to add up to five flavors. Only the first two are mandatory that you pick. You have to pick at least two flavors out of the five. And then you get to name your own flavor. You name it whatever you feel like calling it. And the thing is, I was kind of tired when I was doing the order. And so I didn't notice that the only two flavors needed were the top two. And was completely missing the name your own juice section. So I thought you needed all five fields. So I threw in a couple extra flavors with the 0%. And instead of just looking at it and scratching his head and trying to whip it out from how it looked, I actually received an email from James saying, um, what exact flavors did you mean and what percentages, you know, to actual double check before going to the alchemy table and mixing this juice up for me, which I respect a lot. That's nice that he actually took his time to email me to, you know, find out exactly what I wanted from the custom juice just to make sure that, you know, what he thought I wanted was what I wanted. And I know I've only tried a few other companies, and I just find it nice that he took took his own time to do that before making it. So James, thank you very much. And Dan, thank you very much. That creme de menthe is awesome. And for those that don't know, my good friend Dan is not only the person that made the intro for this video uh, with the nice vapor intro, and he's actually the person that got me off of real cigarettes and sent me my first e cig so thank you so much bro mm, almost one month with no cigarettes thank you guys and keep on vaping <laughs>